Hello everyone. This is Review. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe it's morning, whatever it is. And everyone watching, this is the Unnamed Drink Series back at it again with another review for you. I think this is going to be the most terrifying video I've ever done by far. Right now, the scene itself, I, I don't think anyone in their right mind can't just be chilled to the bone right now by looking at this. We're at night, right? And nighttime is scary. And we have spooky skeleton lights. We have a literal real skeleton right here. We got more lights in the totally real plant behind me. And we also have this. The Caramel Apple Freeze from Taco Bell. I wanted to review this drink very, very quick because I have even something more shockingly terrifying for you uh, that's going to be coming up. See, this is what they call building anticipation, right? You're on the edge of your seat. Oh my gosh, what's what's review bra got coming up next that's going to scare me even more so? Because right now I got the doors locked, the windows locked. I somehow fit myself underneath my bed and I'm just clinging on to insert object for dear life. How can it get even more terrifying? I'll tell you in a minute. But first, for everyone who wants to know what the caramel and apple freeze from Taco Bell tastes like, I'm gonna try it out for you real quick. It's a uh, freeze, you know, slush type of drink. Uh, you can see it looks like this. And it's supposed to, going with the fall theme, uh, well, it's supposed to taste like caramel apple. This is gonna be probably the quickest review I've ever done, but let's just do it. Caramel apple freeze, supposed to taste like caramel apples, from Taco Bell going in. Well, what does it taste like? Caramel apples. No, that's the truth. It's refreshing, it's cool, it goes down easy, not a lot of tug to it. More reliant on apples, so it tastes kind of like green apple. Uh, you are gonna get a little bit of that sweetness from the caramel that's there, but keep in mind, this drink is gonna be more apple-esque than it will be caramel apple-esque. So keep in mind, gonna be more reliant on that green apple flavor, has a little bit of a tang, not necessarily a complete sourness to it. It's gonna definitely be green apple-ish, and then a little bit of that sweetness from uh, the caramel that's in here as well, which you certainly can taste. Price for this drink was around $2.40, which is a little expensive, all things considered. Uh, therefore, out of 10, I'm gonna be rating this drink a 7.4 out of 10. Boy, that's the fastest review you've ever done, review bro. Now, you might be saying, what could have been more terrifying than that? I mean, the setting here is horrific. What, what, what are you trying to allude to? You wanna know what I'm trying to allude to? What I'm trying to allude to is this. And what is this exactly? I don't even know. To be quite honest, I don't even know what this thing is. This was a box that was sent to me from Taco Bell the other day. I don't even know what it is. I, I, I couldn't even tell you. The thing is heavy. It's got weight to it. I don't know what this is, but just imagine yourself in my shoes. You go to Taco Bell, maybe you don't, but you know what Taco Bell is. And all of a sudden, this heavy package mysteriously from Taco Bell shows up at your door. You don't know what they want. You don't know what's in this. You don't know if it's a threat, if they're trying to, I don't know. I'm not even being dramatic at this point. I don't even know what's in this. I don't know if it's a promotional thing uh, or if it's the scariest thing I've ever seen. What lieth 
beneath these cardboard walls, one does not know until now. But I'm going to unbox it. We're going to find out what's in it. Again, I, I don't even know what's in this, to be quite honest. And I think that's where that, that, that most terrible fear comes from. Fear of the unknown. So, if you'll follow me, let's go and open this and uh, see what we got. But first, to get to the unboxing, we have to take a journey into the unknown. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. To find the perfect knife. And now we're going to use this to go ahead and unbox uh, the mysterious box from Taco Bell. So follow me. Let's do this. Um, baseball bat right there. It's for anyone who stalks me. Well, the moment of truth has come. We have the box. Tape. And the means upon which this box can be opened. But first, to give me the strength through this all, a sip of, uh, of this drink, the, the caramel apple freeze. I did that so, you know, to try to make it scary for Halloween and whatnot. All right, well, let's try to open this. A little bit of a tug. I'm trying to use the I think this is supposed to be a clean cut right here. Is what we really want to make sure this is open. Thanks to the graces of editing, this probably came down to being a lot quicker, but I took probably eight minutes trying to get this open. And finally, though unconventionally for the most part, uh, we did. So. Let's see what the heck this is. <sighs> Xbox One and uh, Taco Bell. I'm gonna have to make another incision. Give me a quick second. So, we've got this. I destroyed the box. I'm, I'm rather confused, to be honest, as to what, uh, to what this is. Um, what is this? Hi there. Taco Bell and Xbox collaborated to create an exclusive Platinum Xbox One X. It's got a stylish ombre, comes with an Elite controller and Game Pass, and even makes a Taco Bell bong when you power it on. Uh, but most importantly, we want you to have it first. That's why we're sending you this limited Xbox One X Platinum bundle. Normally, the only way to get one is by buying a $5 double chalupa box, but since we know you love gaming, we wanted to hook you up. We hope you use uh, the bundle. I'd love to see you using our console, so tag us in Happy Gaming. It's really Taco Bell. So, they really do what I think they did. <laughs> they actually send me this I uh, I'm 
I'm quite confused, uh, uh, right now. I don't mean to be, uh, but I am. Give me another minute. Uh, well, I guess the only emotion to express at this time is, uh, is, is shock. <laughs> uh, you know, I really don't know, I don't know how else to react, quite frankly. You know, I myself, I've, I've never been a gamer. I, uh, you know, I never, uh, gosh, the last video games I ever played on a console, uh, again, is going back to, uh, the Nintendo Wii or the PlayStation 2. Uh, you know, in my free time, I listen to shortwave radio, you know, and this Saturday, I recommend you tune into my show, 9395 at 6 p.m. Eastern, 4840 kHz, 8 p.m. Eastern, Otherwise, you know, I just, uh, you know, I, 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 sometimes I'll play Flash games and, and all of that. Uh, so, uh, to be quite honest, this is, uh, you know, this is like the last thing that I ever expected to see in a box from Taco Bell, to be, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, you can see, here's the close-up view of it. I mean, it's, it's the real deal, I suppose, right there. Custom Taco Bell packaging, and then some more stuff right there. You know, it's uh, it's it's legitimate. It's the real the real thing. I know I probably sound like, you know, someone who's uh, completely inept, but in the end, when it comes down to it, I mean, again, I haven't. This is this is someone who hasn't played. Uh, a video game on a console since you know 2010 or so uh, so I don't really know how to react uh, I think I'm gonna research this more and uh, look it up and uh, try and try and make uh, you know figure out what, what it is and uh, and go from there I'm sure I'm conveying it more than enough but uh, I'm just completely complete completely shocked to be quite honest, because I just didn't expect to uh, to see this uh, at all in uh, in the mail. I thought this was going to be, you know, uh, some some Taco Bell gift cards or, or whatnot. Uh, but to Taco Bell directly uh, to the, the the corporate team there and to the management and uh, all of you, thank you, yeah, thank thank you, thank you so much for this. You you really did uh, surprise me. I mean, you didn't just surprise me with this but you you blew me off that's a bug uh, you blew me off my feet I mean I'm I'm taken back but I just want you to know that despite any surprise and perhaps lack of being a gamer that I may be I'm very thankful for for your support and you know I know the the items that I try out you know can go up and down but you know you guys have some really good promotions here and there and I, I do frequent Taco Bell, you know, I'm a frequent, a frequent flyer, so to speak. Uh, but thank you so much. I mean, it's, you know, even if it's something that you didn't expect to get or something that you didn't expect to, to see or receive, I think showing some gratitude is always a most important thing, nonetheless. So what's in store for me? Well, I'm going to research this. I, I never even had an Xbox before, so, uh... I'm going to research this and try and figure out some of the uh, odds and uh, ends of it. And, uh, well, if any of you watching this who I'm sure are more uh, familiar with uh, this type of device than I am, you have any recommendations of anything to do with it, any uh, perhaps games to play, things to do with it, uh, let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, feedback and help is, is uh, certainly appreciated. And with that, of course, uh, this this Saturday, again, check out if you have a shortwave radio, uh, my radio program, 6 p.m. Eastern, 9395 kilohertz, 8 p.m. Eastern, 4840 kilohertz. Really suggest you listen to it no matter what. I think it's a good show that I, I did a lot of work on for you this week. So thank you. Your feedback is appreciated, and I think uh, something that, that uh, turned out to be what I thought was going to be quite horrifying uh, ended up being just a, an extreme shock. I think that's the only way to put it, to, to be honest. So I'm going to be here now probably trying to figure out the ins and outs of things. And uh, 
know, who knows, maybe going forward I'll, I'll give you all a little update. So thank you for watching this. Uh, this is probably in the history of my channel the, the biggest uh, surprise I've ever, I've ever gotten in a video, truth be told. I'm blown away by it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just as surprised as you are, quite frankly. And hope you could stay tuned again to the radio show. You could also find it on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash V-O-R-W underscore radio underscore I-N-T. And I hope you could stay tuned to whatever next video that I come out with. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'm just going to be figuring this one out. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.